When shopping for a wireless network, people are primarily concerned with two things. Coverage, reaching those far corners in their house, or bandwidth, transferring large files or watching HD streaming video over the internet. 802.11n, or simply N, is the latest in wireless technology and offers four times the range and 12 times the speed of its predecessor, Wireless G. For example, Wireless G has a maximum speed of 54 megabits a second, whereas Wireless N can go up to and even greater than 300 megabits a second. For optimal performance, dual band routers are the way to go. Utilizing the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz frequencies, you're able to run your wireless G clients on the 2.4 gigahertz and your wireless N clients on the 5 gigahertz, allowing for maximum throughput and range on the much less crowded 5 gigahertz band. These days, security is a primary concern when people are buying wireless home routers. WEP and WPA are the most common types of wireless security found in almost any wireless router, although WPA is the safest and most secure to use in the home. Other applications and services that are found in wireless routers is Universal Plug and Play, or UPnP, that allow devices to seamlessly connect to your network and it also helps simplify the installation of other devices. Other services, such as FTP Server, and QoS, or quality of service, help maximize your home networking. QoS, or quality of service, allows you to prioritize your wired or wireless network traffic. You can prioritize applications such as video chats, online gaming, or video streaming, allowing you to get the maximum performance out of those applications. The most common components you find on a wireless router is an internet port that you connect from your ISP modem, four LAN ports that you can connect up to four wire devices such as a desktop PC or gaming console, antenna that emits or broadcasts your wireless signal, and on newer routers you'll find a USB port that allows you to connect USB printers or USB storage devices, turning those into network devices that allows you to share those devices on the network with anyone in your home. Wireless network adapters give wireless capability to desktop and laptop computers. Since most recent laptops come with wireless, these adapters are also used to upgrade an existing system with newer wireless technology such as 802.11n for optimal range and speed. This wireless network adapter is installed into the back of a desktop computer, giving it the wireless freedom from having to be plugged into your router. Wireless USB adapters, such as this, can be used to upgrade an existing laptop with wireless N technology. It can also be added to the USB port on a desktop computer, giving it wireless N capability. Access points are generally used if you want to add wireless capability to an existing network. This is most commonly used if your ISP provided you with a router that didn't have wireless capabilities. Devices such as this will generally have a single port that allows you to connect from your router to this access point, giving you wireless capability. Powerline adapters instantly transforms a home's existing electrical wiring into a high-speed network. Using two powerline adapters, simply connect one into a router and plug it into a power outlet, thus extending every other outlet in the home to a possible network connection. Plug the other powerline adapter into a different room to extend that network connection. Powerline adapters are capable of speeds up to 500 megabits a second, making it ideal for online gaming or video streaming.